Hi, I'm Clyde Tiffany, agronomist, DuPont pioneer. We're here in Renville County, Minnesota, taking a look at our one row IDC plots, and I want to highlight some differences amongst the varieties from early or mid group one until late group one. I'm standing by 91Y80, which is really our standard for this area for being able to tolerate moderate to high levels of iron deficiency chlorosis. As you can see through this, this tough part of the field, even here it's, it's a little bit stunted, but it's, it's surviving, it's, it's performing okay. 91Y62 is a newer variety we just brought on that has fairly good tolerance to iron deficiency chlorosis. But I do want to also talk to you about another management concept that you could consider, and that's using iron chelates along with more offensive minded varieties to help improve your odds of being able to get a consistent delivery of bean performance in these areas where we have chlorosis. And here's an example of 91Y62 with three pounds of soy green. Soy green is one of many of the iron chelate products that are on the market. It's a fairly common one, but huge difference in height and coloration capability of this row with the three pounds of soy green is dramatically more than uh, what you would get either with 91Y80 alone without any soy green or with 91Y62 alone. We move on down the line, you'll see the check 91Y80 again. And then we take a look at Y72. It's been somewhat of a standard for us being able to have some reasonable levels of uh, iron deficiency chlorosis tolerance. I'd say the 91Y62 that we just brought along though has slightly more tolerance. Here's a com key competitor in the area. We come up to 91Y80 as a check without. And then we show you 9180Y80 with soy green. So uh, even the most tolerant varieties in these types of soils will benefit from having soy green or some sort of iron chelate applied to them. We're going to continue on our discussions. I want to talk to you a little bit about an extremely exciting variety in the late group ones, 91Y81. Um, has a lot of yield potential under normal soils. But, that, but as you can see in the extreme cases where we have uh, excessive iron deficiency chlorosis issues, it's probably not positioned right. Uh, 91Y80 here is without soy green. Uh, even this is having uh, difficulty down in this area. But the one thing that is really interesting is when we put on an iron chelate, and in this case it was three pounds of, of soy green, we had performance or uh, basically the look of this 91Y81 is superior to what you'd see with 91Y80 uh, without anything on that. So my, my point being on this, we have fields that have small amounts of iron deficiency chlorosis areas and they want the rest of the field to have high performance variety. 91Y81 should be planted in those fields and if you could selectively apply soy green in the areas that need it the most, you could run 91Y81s down into some of the more moderately uh, or even into some of the more of the severe areas of IDC and still get good performance out of it. As you come by, you're gonna see some other varieties including 91Y92. Y92 is definitely a variety that we wanna keep on the better soils, the, the soils that don't have IDC problems. Here's 80s again without soy green, the standard, and you can see a couple of the key uh, competitors in this area with various levels of chlorosis, uh, some tolerating a little bit better than others, some having more difficulty.